So I thought, what, is, what does it mean to be prepared? Because it says prepare a habitation. Well, it's funny. I like to study out words in Scripture, you know, and, and look up the Greek or look up the Hebrew. And I've done that before in the messages I presented, right? And, and gives us a little understanding. But you know what's funny? That being written in Hebrew in the Old Testament is undefined. You look up the word prepare or prepared in Strong's Concordance, and there's only two of them that are not defined. All the rest have the number that goes to the definition. That's the first one that's undefined. And I thought, God, why is that? Why are you not defining that word? And he said, because it's different for each one of us. Your preparation is different than my preparation. But the ultimate result is the same. We all need to prepare that place of habitation for God to live within us. So I said, well, I have no Greek, uh, pardon me, I have no Hebrew to go to, so I've got to go to the Greek and figure out what, is, what does it mean. I want, I want depth. Do you want depth? I don't want surface knowledge. I'm sick and tired of surface knowledge. I want depth. So I looked it up. Well, obviously prepare is a verb, which requires action, right? You've got to do something if you're going to be prepared. So I looked up in the Greek, and it's hitoimazo. Okay? I don't speak Greek very well, but it means to make ready, prepare, make necessary preparations, get everything ready. And it's drawn from the original custom of sending on before kings who are on their journey persons to level the roads and make them passable. That sparked another thought in me. You see, when we start thinking about the things of God and we start um, studying, it up, studying out what He's doing in our lives, the things that He's doing should spark one thought to another thought to another thought and continually just move us forward, right? So, the next thought was about this. In the scripture, particularly in Numbers 35, you can write this down as homework to read this, uh, Numbers 35, Deuteronomy 19, Joshua 20, uh, and Isaiah 40, all talk about cities of refuge. You ever heard of those before? Cities of refuge. When God brought the Israelites into the Promised Land, 